Hello guys, today's topic is how to create an upload file functionality in ASP.NET 5 Razor Pages. So I will actually discuss, I will start explaining a completed project for uploading file functionality which is a basic functionality but it's very useful utility. So please watch on and subscribe to my channel if you like it. I am going to show you a Razor Pages test project that has got one Razor file for uploading files you know to the server file to the file system so i have got this upload file.cshtml this page was created using right click the project level and click on add and click on a new item and razor page empty so i just gave it a name to change the index.cshtml, I give it a name upload file.cshtml and click on add. Okay. So now it created this razor view for me upload file.cshtml plus this razor code behind file. So I just upload, uh, I just change the code to look like this. It is deriving from a page model class, which is the base class for all the razor pages, and I have created a I have created the um, public constructor and I have done a construct dependency injection with i webhost environment where the environment is set to the passed on object. Okay, and then there is a click method which returns the message. Okay, string, and then this is the final uh, async verb on post verb because this is this has to react on the submission of a form form based application form based page and the uh, upload which is of i form file type which is a bind property now what that bind property does it's an attribute that can specify a model name or type of um, microsoft.aspnet core.mvc.model binding dot i model binder to use for binding the associated property this property needs to be bind bound okay and so next I have created a variable file which gives me the complete path to the file location and with the file name with the complete path to that file and then a message variable was initialized and then within the try catch block in the try block I am using a file stream which creates a new file stream object which file object and file model dot create that is the enum is passed and then it awaits on this upload this which is a again i form file type and it calls the copy to async and passes the file stream object okay and when it is uploaded it gives a message that the file was uploaded successful success message and all that the reserve view contains is that you know, it on a div it writes that model the message what was the message that the file was uploaded correctly and then this form because it is is posting to the server it gets a post type method post type verb and the encryption type is multi part slash form data and it here is the input is a file type input and this is the ASP this is the tag helper if you know what a tag helper is an expression to be evaluated against the current model current model is upload okay and uh, ASP for upload okay and this is a submit button and just forget this button I think I can just get rid of this and get rid of this label control they are of not being used here and that's it and if you click uh, IIS Express To run this project, the project is now building and it will run and I will come back again with the project in the running condition. So now it comes up with this localhost slash port number and if I UR it or browse it to the upload file. It comes up with this form which has got a choose file button 
and no file is chosen and if we choose a file this is the file type input it opens that browse dialog so I can choose a file from my server or uh, my localhost so just click on this one of the files and the name of the file is written over here and click on submit and it gives you file uploaded successful message and if we go back to the um, directory where this upload happened I can show you now I have browsed to the directory razor pages test and which uploads folder is there where all the files are getting uploaded through this application so let's click on uploads and working on it so I have created lots of uploads so all these files are sitting over there so that's the end of this tutorial on how to upload a file in razor pages thanks for watching